Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel, Smith Shack's Custom Baits for Smith Shack here. Um, today I'm going to be making a, a color that I made um, in a Facebook group, or make it in the Facebook group, made it for the Facebook group. They had a, they, uh, I forget exactly which group it was, but it was from Soft Plastic Bait Makers. There used to be a bunch of those. Um, I, I joined like eight or nine of them. Um, and, I, and in fact, I think one that I joined where I did this is gone. <laughs> um, but they weekly they had contests to see who could match certain colors. Well, they wanted to make a color somebody was calling uh, blood candy, um, and I thought it was this is a, I was brand new to the group, and I I totally misunderstood the directions. I thought we were supposed to make our own interpretation of that and not match it. So. Today I'm going to show you what I made, and uh, of course I didn't win because I didn't follow the directions properly. <laughs> it was okay. So um, let me finish cooking the plastic salt, and we'll get right to business. Okay. Quick shake on the black here. Um, what we're going to do here is we're going to use one drop of the black. Black is a very powerful color. It does not take much to get the results you want or to ruin it by putting in too much. Um, the next thing I'm gonna use is a cherry red dye. This is, most of the uh, name is worn off. Um, but this is a, as a dye, this is a bleeder. It's also a very vibrant color. Okay, here we go. Um, and when I make the color cherry bomb, you'll see what I mean by that. Okay, we're going to use one scoop of this 015 black grape. You know what? This is the first time I've ever done this. We're just going to mix it all up at once. Okay, I'm going to put in all the glitter and all the All the colorants, and this is the, the green the scoop of this stuff. I think this might actually be pretty cool. I just just thought of this just as I was doing this, doing starting a segment for the video. Okay, and now we're going to do this. This zero three five gold holly, and this should this should make a huge change pretty quickly when it's once I start stirring this. Okay. Like I said, I, this is the first time I've ever done it like this. Okay, here we go. Let's see what it looks like. Watch that. Look at that. We've got a really nice red. It's a dark red. Okay. When I was making blood candy, I didn't want it to be like um, the blood that comes out of your, your arteries. That's this nice, a bright. It's a nice bright red. I wanted it a darker red, and that's why I used that that um, one drop of black. And that's done a fantastic job of turning that into a darker red. Just one drop. There we go. Check that out. All right. Let's. Uh, get this heated back up get the mold set up and we'll, we'll shoot this all right so the plastic sauce all heated up um, I'm going to shoot this in the well both lizards the the four inch and the six inch and also I'm going to shoot the um, the helper mine, this the three inch helper mine. Uh, if I have enough plastic I probably will I'll, if I remount the spruce I'll probably go ahead and shoot the four five inch sticks also. And now I'm still doing terrible with the sticks when I'm out fishing. Eventually, I'll get it figured out. Okay, there's the helper mic. This is the six inch lizard. Top off 
this over my real quick. And that lizard. And let's see if we have enough. Okay, and actually I think we did have enough to shoot the lizard. Oh, maybe not. Let's see. We'll see when we open these molds. I might have to uh, I might have to reshoot that melt it and reshoot it. But we'll find out here in just a couple minutes, won't we? <laughs> okay, let's open up the one that might not have filled properly. For, we'll do that first. Oh, yeah, look. All the tails just shorted. We almost had enough. Well, here's a foot that didn't fill out all the way. Um, this one didn't quite fill out all the way. That one didn't either. But... Basically, it's the very extreme parts that didn't, and not even on all the baits. Well, the tails didn't. So, we'll throw that back in the, in the measuring cup. We'll shoot that again. Well, once I reheat it. Okay, let's look at the big lizards, the six inch lizards. Okay, here we go, look at that. What do you think of that? See, it's that darker color. Just all it took was one drop of black. Black is a very powerful color. See, and Bob's your uncle, huh? All right, let's go ahead and open the Pelgrimites. And this one has a heck of a sprue. Here we go. That's a heck of a color. You know what, though? I've never actually fished it, but I definitely need to. All right, so there's everything I made. Uh, you see, I went ahead and I reshot these guys off camera, and I made some four and five inch sticks to go with them. Okay, that's it for this video. Um, can't wait to fish those, but like I said, I have to make darn sure that I keep them separate from my other baits because it'll turn everything red because of the dye. Um, and it's a dark enough color that it should work in, in, uh, in some pretty dirty water, too. Um, but we'll see. Um, yeah, we'll see, huh? <laughs> uh, but I definitely need to get better at fishing with sticks. And um, probably after I'm done making videos today, I'm probably going to go out fishing. So uh, I'll, 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 all I'm going to do is take sticks with me, and that's it. Uh, but we'll see how it works out. So far... So far I've hooked, I hooked one fish, but the knot that I tied to connect the leader to the braided line came undone. So I didn't catch that fish. And I was using a brand new rod and reel where the rod, uh, I mean the reel, um, I didn't have the drag set yet. So while I'm trying to set the drag and, and, and keep this fish from getting getting back into cover, and yeah, it was, it was a mess. <laughs> so, but they've been learned, right? Hopefully we learn, right? Um, so, with all that said, if you like what you saw, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Um, and share. Share the video with, on your Facebook pages, on your, on your Twitter pages, or I guess it's X now, isn't it? Um, if you're on Gab or Rumble, go ahead and share it there too. Um, Instagram, wherever, wherever, wherever you're on social media, please. If you share it, it'd be great. Um, this last month, we've gained almost 100 hours. Um, hours watch time um, not quite as many subscribers this month as last month but that's okay we're still moving in the right direction so um, until next time folks tight lines calm waters and God bless <laughs>